Hey guys, I want to show this Smith Corona Cornet Super 12. I want to show um, how it works and what it looks like. Um, so uh, let's start off with, I just want to show, take this off the stand here. What it looks like on the inside here. To, to lift this cover off, just grab right here and pull up. See, it probably could use a little bit of cleaning on the inside, but there's no serious rust or anything like that. This is the ink cartridge. If you want to replace this um, on your model, there's a button right here on the side. Push that. This will slide right out. And to reinstall, just slide it right back in the slot and push till it snaps. You've got the margins for your paper are set here. This controls where the paper slides through around the roller. This sets your line spacing. And to be quite honest, I don't know what this one does. Um, so that's what it looks like. Let me put this back on the stand here real quick. Trying to look through the through the phone screen that I'm taking this video on uh, to be able to see this. There's basically a, a little pin here that fits into a hole. This cover has a little pin that slides down into that hole and then it snaps close. Okay, so I already have my margin set up. So this little piece right here, you put your paper up against it. Now this guide here, you have to lift this up. I didn't put it in straight. There we go. Okay. Um, so the other slides is, the other uh, pieces of this, this lets your tray move back and forth. Either of these two black tabs here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the unit on. Hear the motor start up. And... Um, this has actually, instead of having a, a slide here where you push over, of course this is an electric typewriter, so there's a power return. And uh, I'll go ahead and type a sentence so you can see the action of it. Hello viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this will give you an idea of the operation of this typewriter. Okay, so that, I'm gonna take the paper off here in a second, but I, I want you to get an idea of how um, th this typewriter 
uh, functions and just in case you're looking at one of these and, and you're interested in buying one so it gives you kind of an idea of, of what uh, you're looking at for it and uh, so I'm also going to be selling this unit uh, on my store so but you know it may or may not be available by the time that you that you look at this video so um, just for functionality purposes I'm gonna go ahead and test all these keys so Okay, so next I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to go through those keys again. Okay. And then uh, at the end, oh, sorry for the shaking, um, I'll just type another sentence here. So this is what it's going to look like, guys, uh, if you end up are interested in this model of typewriter uh, and you want to get an idea of its functionality and, and what the, the typeset looks like. Um, this is uh, this is kind of what it's going to look like, and I hope this answers any questions you have on uh, changing the ribbon. Um, a couple things to note, if you end up buying this unit uh, from me specifically, there are a few things that I want you to be aware of. Um, when shipping this unit, uh, it will come with a plastic case. There's a little bit of damage to this case, if you see right here. Some of the seam is split on the corner. Um, so it will have a plastic case that comes, and you'll see that in the, the photos. The next thing I want you to be aware of, as far as when when you ship this, I'm going to put rubber bands around these to the slide here, so this can move freely in shipping. It doesn't if it's locked and it, uh, you know, the during shipping it bangs back and forth. It's going to keep there and continue to bang on this. I'll, I'll have rubber bands around this so it can move a little bit freely. It won't move much because um, I'll have Shran wrap over this entire. Uh, typewriter locking it in place but uh, these will be moved so it, it has a little bit of movement here so just be aware before you use these the rubber bands that I put around these and knobs here um, they need to be taken off next on the inside there will be bubble wrap in here so that it protects these keys from coming forward and, and hitting or coming loose so these will uh, there'll be a bubble wrap support right here. Uh, that will also need to be removed before you try to do any typing or uh, anything else with it. Um, if you have any questions on my listing specifically, please let me know. Uh, and thanks for watching this video.